Several hundred people were killed in the 2011 earthquake in Van in Turkey, and tens of thousands were left homeless after their houses were destroyed. As homes, offices, hospitals and schools were shaken, pieces of the walls started falling as the majority were built of brick. While brick buildings are relatively expensive and solid, they're vulnerable during earthquakes. Brick walls are extremely strong, but only if the pressure comes vertically. When lateral force is applied, as in this simulation, the walls soon buckle, crack and are soon destroyed. At the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany, researchers are looking for ways of making brick walls less vulnerable to earthquakes. Even buying a bit of time would give people more chance to escape. Early attempts in the 1990s centered around carbon fiber strips. Both solid and supple, the strips were fixed onto walls to stabilize them. But in fact, they made things worse. The damage was concentrated around the fixture points. And the walls crumbled and collapsed even in tests simulating moderate earthquakes. Next, they began working on a new type of highly resistant wallpaper. They designed a paper made with glass fibers, which are very elastic. The glue was equally important. It's made from water, a binding substance, and many tiny plastic beads, which themselves consist of thousands of long molecules. When you apply this mixture to the wall, it penetrates all the tiny cracks. The water evaporates and the beads fuse together. The chain of molecules form a network which sticks firmly to the wall. In the same way, the fiberglass in the glue sticks and reinforces the mixture. Of the elasticity of the compound is due to characteristics of plastic which we made. It can change its structure under the force of an earthquake. And in this test, we can see that the wall on the right, reinforced with a special wallpaper, can resist lateral forces of almost three Gs. The difference with the untreated wall is striking. It's really an advance. The system is easy to install and effective. During an earthquake, it's usually the falling buildings which pose the greatest danger, rather than the quake itself. As no one knows exactly where, when and with what force the next earthquake will strike, perhaps the best way to guard against the dangers is to reinforce buildings in quake zones.